Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to view all columns in a database in MySQL Workbench. We'll use the feature called the Schema Inspector. So let's uh, open a, uh, um, a server where we have installed the Workbench and we are connected to the one of the MySQL server. If you see here under the schemas here, we have a different schema such as System, TBIT, Tech Brothers IT and a couple more. Now, if I would like to go ahead and take a look, I have different tables here, such as department, employee, and all those different tables in TBIT. Now, I am interested to see the columns for all the tables in one place. So let's click here, and that will make this window a little. Uh, let's click here, so we'll see only the schemas. We are only interested to see the schemas here. So uh, I can see the column for employee here by just clicking on the table and then taking a look here. But doesn't say that what data type and all that these columns are. Now I would like to see all the columns of this uh, uh, um, these tables uh, in a TBIT database. Um, so what I can do here, I can go to the uh, call schema inspector. If you see I here at the right on the front of the database, so you can see right there, you are going to click right there or you can right click here and say schema inspector. So once you go there, you are going to see different features. So first of all, it is going to tell you about your database or schema, what uh, correlation you are using or character set you are using, uh, table count and the size of the database is estimated size. Then you're going to see the tables. So we can see that we have department, employee, employee copy, department and the TBL employee. Then here is the list of the tables and with columns. That's where I'm, I was interested. So I can use the tables here and I can just uh, sort them and I have columns here, data types of them, default values if we have defined, nullable, and character set, correlation, privileges, and other information. Uh, so you can see all that uh, definition of all, all those uh, tables with the columns and uh, their data types. Uh, if you have created indexes, you will see them, triggers the same way, views in that database, uh, store procedure in that database, functions, uh, and you will be able to see who has permission on this database as well by using a go answer. So you can see that uh, the DBA user, that's what we are using to connect to this uh, MySQL server that has permission on this database. Uh, it has select, insert, update, delete, create. It has pretty much all the permission because I have given every privilege to the DBA user uh, on the MySQL server. So it also uh, take that permissions to the TBIT database. Uh, okay so and then you have if you have created any events so you're going to see that information as well so schema inspector is a really great tool or feature that helps you to find out different information in your database in the my, my sql workbench i hope this video will help and i will see you guys in the next video